Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name's Tom with Mess Good Online. As always, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In the previous tutorial, I made a mistake. And as always, when I make a mistake, uh, we go through it and discuss it and fix the problem. So uh, one of our followers asked, under the class, we use grades underscore lists is equal to an empty list, not self dot grades list. Um, does it still create another list for every object? Uh, no, it does not. And we're going to take a look at that real fast and then we'll fix my uh, boo boo I made. So let's go ahead and um, work with the code we already have. So we're going to go ahead and fire up the Python interpreter for me. It's Python 3. All right. So what we're going to do is create an object. So we're going to say, um, a, oh, we got import from student import math and then we're going to go ahead and do um, a is equal to math and then myself and uh, 17 18 whatever it doesn't matter uh, 14 9 all right so we created first object I'm gonna create a second object and it's going to be my son's name. Um, doesn't really matter. All right. Let's just bang this out. So, all right. So we got two objects here. And now if we go ahead and pass in or call the method grades and pass in some grades, let's watch what happens here. All right, I'm going to use myself, Tom, the one, A first, A grades, and I'm going to make my grades 71, 72, and 73. All right, and then we're going to do my son's B dot grades, and he's going to have 97, 98, and 99. All right, you notice when we pass the grades in, my grades are here, his grades are here. Uh, that's not going to work in our case because we're trying to get each student separate grade so we got an issue here all right so we're going to fix this and uh, once again i'd like to thank that user for pointing this out to me because i probably wouldn't have caught it until later on but i'm going to show you how to fix it and it's going a little bit more in depth into object oriented programming in python than i really want to go at this point but hey since i brought it on myself let's learn all right uh whoops wrong one that's one of my django projects there we go sorry about that all right so um first things first all right um let's take a look at what's going on here uh so we got grades list up here and we're not calling self on it so if we're not calling self on it it's not interacting with each object separately right it's basically just an attribute inside this class that each object has access to so we're just passing that information to it so that's not working in our favor so how we're gonna fix this is we're gonna go ahead and let's just delete this here and we're gonna define in it a uh, constructor again or method if you will but this time we're gonna introduce something new so define two underscores in it in it there we go it's getting late and I'm tired and we're gonna use uh, star args double asterisk keyword args all right so as you guys probably know by now pass a tuple as many objects as you want and this is a dictionary as many objects as you want all right <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is create a super class in Python 3 basically what we're doing is we're initializing data all right um, but we need to also initialize our superclasses data, which now student is considered a superclass. Um, so we need to initialize this data as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to call student like this, and then we're going to say underscore underscore init. All right. And the easiest way to do this is self args and keyword args. All right. Now you could if you wanted to is make these all keywords to match what it takes up here i am not doing that because i'm lazy and that would take too much time so let's get and do self dot 
grades underscore list is equal to an empty list. All right. So now this gives us a um, instance of the object. All right. So now we have that instance. Um, another thing we're going to trade to change now is we don't need this in here no longer. So we're going to take that out. But we do need to do GPA is equal to self dot grades list. All right. Or you could just put self dot grades list in here. All right. So let's go back and give this a whirl again. So we're going to kill the interpreter. I'll clear my screen, fire it back up. And this time I'm just going to use the up arrows to go back through what we did because I don't want to waste time. And I got a mistake. Hold on. There shouldn't be a uh, colon there. So we'll do this all over again. So clear that, <clears throat> fire that back up, and import math, create an object of myself, object of my son, and then we're going to pass in the grades. There's my grades, uh, there's my son's grades, and then uh, we didn't do that in the last tutorial. So we'll go ahead and do a dot, what the heck's that next method called? math gpa so we'll do a dot math underscore gpa like that and we got 72 percent is my grade oh yeah that's right i forgot we stopped right there so 80 yeah i got a zero gpa according to my uh rules of school here so um let's go ahead and see what my son got so we'll just change this to b and he's got a 4.0 with 98%. So let's just recap since I kind of rushed through this here. <clears throat> all right, so we got a class, all right? And if we want to use, or we got a, a subclass, I should say, a subclass of student. And if we want to use initial, or init, initial data, or yeah, data if you want, or the init constructor inside a subclass, all right, we got to, call in the super class and that's what we're doing right here so basically uh first off we're saying in it can take uh args which i said earlier tuple or keyword args uh an infinite infinite list of dictionary keyword args all right and then we're calling the super class which is student and then we're initializing that data and instead of using uh the keyword arguments where we type them out kind of like this uh first name is equal to first name something like that we can use args and keyword args here as well all right and then we just bring in self dot grades list as our um oops um instance object and we get grades list this way each object has its own grades list all right and that's what we're looking for because we don't want to combine the students grades so if you guys have any questions please let me know i do apologize for the uh, previous tor tutorial screw up but we all learned something here so i'll see you in the next tutorial have a nice day